A beautiful Monday morning, fellow Augustinians. Welcome to the third institutional virtual flag ceremony of Colegio San Agustin Binian for the academic year 2022-2023. Let us all come together in prayer as we listen to the gospel reading, reflection, and opening prayer to be led by Francis Nicole V. Malik. This will be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the San Agustin March. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Scandals will necessarily come and cause people to fall, but woe to the one who brings them about. It would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a millstone around his neck. Truly, this would be better for that person than to cause one of these little ones to fall. Listen carefully. If your brother offends you, tell him. And if he is sorry, forgive him. And if he offends you seven times in one day, but seven times he says to you, I'm sorry, forgive him. The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you have faith, even the size of a mustard seed, you may say to this tree, be uprooted and plant yourself in the sea, and it will obey you. The Word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. We are told anything that is too much is not healthy. Too much work, too much eating, too much alcohol, too much time on social media, they are not healthy. What about the expression, too much love will kill you? That is also true if we are talking about a selfish and obsessive kind of love. But if it is Christian love, there has to be no limit to it. There should be no limit in doing good things to people. There should be no limit in respecting one another. There should be no limit in loving the unlovable. It would not kill us if we have too much Christian love in our hearts. It would even lead us to a better life. A life with the Lord. This is the reason why Jesus spoke about avoiding scandal or causing harm on others, or why he taught his disciples to always be ready to forgive. There should be no limit in forgiving one another, but loving and forgiving like the Lord's is still to be found in the hearts of many people, probably including ourselves. That is why we also have to pray, increase our faith. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, as we gather to welcome yet another month of this academic year, we thank you for the success of the first quarter. Thank you for strengthening us during times of hardship and uncertainty. Thank you for giving us hope to keep going every day. Without you, O Lord, we wouldn't be able to come this far. Please forgive us for our sins. Guide us when we are lost. Energize us when we are tired. Fill us, Lord, with the Holy Spirit, so we may return the love you have shown to others. We ask for your grace and divine wisdom so that we may look forward to the future and take every challenge as an opportunity to grow. Bless those who helped us along the way, our fellow students, our teachers, faculty, and administrators. Bless those who are not able to join us today. Bless the poor, the sick, and everyone around the world. May you grant them peace and happiness wherever they are. May all our hard work, pain, and victories Bring more glory to your name. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
for guiding us along the journey. Light that brightens the pathways of the mind. We will hail you forever, alma mater, and we'll treasure your legacy with pride. Red and gold, heart of flame is your banner, living symbol of everlasting love. Virtue and science, your motto stands forever. Faith and wisdom for men free under God. At the hall of your name we sing your praises and proclaim to the sky your glorious peace. Grace and glory to you are all the matter. Grace and glory to you, Son of the Steve. of Panunumpa ng Katapatan sa Watawat ng Pilipinas at Panatang Makabayan will be led by Ricardo Luis Archua and Janelle Vance B. Reyes, respectively. Panunumpa ng Katapatan sa Watawat ng Pilipinas Ako ay Pilipino. Buong Katapatan nanunumpa sa Watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansa ang kanyang sinasagisan na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na ipinakikilos ng sambayan ng makajos, makakalikasan, makatao at makabansa. Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas sa aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukop ko pa ko at tinutulungan maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, niringgin ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang. Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan. At tutuparin ko ang aking tungkulin bilang isang mamayang makabayan. Naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Let us now join Katarina Amalia A. Pajardo in the recitation of the CSA Binyan Vision and Luciana Isabel Maria M. Ivasco for the mission statement. Vision, the Kolya Sagan Agustin Binyan is an exemplary educational community guided by the Agustinian charism, forming holistic individuals as active participants in building up the city of God. Mission, in oneness of mind and heart intent upon God, Kolya San Agustin Binyan commits to provide quality Catholic education through value-enriched instruction, significant research, responsive services, and sustainable community development programs. Thank you, dear students. At this point, let us listen to the message of our junior high school regent, Reverend Father Arvin C. Salceda OSA, the Vice President for Administration and Finance. A blessed day, dear Augustinians. Who could have known that we will be experiencing great changes in our world today? We face the pandemic, and as it reaches its end, war and inflation peered their ugly heads. In a world full of naysayers, it is easy to become discouraged. People will be saying to you, what can you do? You're still young. You're not yet of legal age. You do not know more in life. Be not discouraged. Let me quote an American author by the name Edward Everett Hale. He said, I am only one, but still I am one. I cannot do everything but still, I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can do. Yes, there are things that you are not yet capable, but there are things that you can do in this institution. You are still students. You are being molded into the ideal person that you aspire to be. 
in the process of molding yourselves, do your best. Do the good that you can. Augustinians as Christians. Because a good Christian makes a better citizen. A citizen that will be an asset for your community, for the country, and for the world at large. Once again, have a blessed day. Thank you, Father Salceda, for that very inspiring message. Let us now watch a short video presentation showing the activities of students and personnel from the previous months here in our beloved institution. ceremony. November 9, online viewing of first quarter grades. November 7 to 11, virtual parent-teacher conference. November 14 to 16, English week celebration, story retail through writing in English. November 17, virtual club meetings. November 24 to 25, second monthly examinations. November 28, Quiz B, second qualifying round for reading. November 29, Quiz B, second qualifying round for mathematics. From the grade school department, November 7, third institutional virtual flag ceremony. November 9, online viewing of first quarter grades. November 12, virtual parent-teacher conference. November 15, Club meetings of grades 1, 2, and 3. November 17, club meetings of grades 4, 5, and 6. 
November 24 to 25, second monthly examinations. November 25, Paasco Plenary and SST Area Meeting. From the Junior High School Department, November 7, third institutional virtual flag ceremony. November 9, online viewing of first quarter grades. November 12, virtual parent teacher conference. November 16, Lingap Cares Awarding of Grades 7 and 8. November 17, Lingap Cares Awarding of Grades 9 and 10. November 19, Grade 9 On-Site Recollection. November 21 to 23, English Week Celebration, Literary Writing, and Individual Speech Act. November 23, Start of Science and Technology Week. November 24 to 25, second monthly examinations. November 24, Paasco Plenary and SST Area Meeting. November 25, United Nations 2022 Culminating Activity. From the Senior High School Department, November 7, third institutional virtual flag ceremony. November 9, online viewing of first quarter grades. November 11, Augustinian Student Government Coffee Talk and Second House and Strand Assemblies. November 12, Virtual Parent-Teacher Conference and Grade 11 on-site recollection. November 18, GTC Career Orientation for Grade 12. November 24, Paasco SST Area Meeting. November 24 to 25, second monthly examinations. November 25, ASG Project Unit Talk, virtual strand based activities. For ICT, Symposium on Latest Trends and Innovations. ABM, Forum on Digital Marketing. STEM, Webinar on Basic Statistical Analysis Using Statistical Package of Social Sciences November 28, Roundtable Discussion on the Different States of Life From the College Department, November 14-17, to 17, Midterm Examinations From the Guidance and Testing Center, November 7 and 8, Anti-Bullying Campaign November 7 to 10, All Set. November 14 to 18, Career Week, Alumni Sharing. November 15 will be for grades 7 and 8. And November 16 will be for grades 9 and 10. From the Augustinian Formation and Religious Affairs. November 12, Grade 11, Recollection. November 19, Grade 9, Recollection. November 21, Seminar and Practice of Recollection Participants November 22-24, to 24, Confession of Confirmation Participants November 26, Sacrament of Confirmation November 28, Senior High School Roundtable Discussions on Different Kinds of Vocations This time, let us listen to the special message from our school president, Rev. Father Wilson A. Capellian OSA a pleasant morning, my fellow Augustinians. We are about to end this morning's activity, and I, Father Wilson A. Capilian, would like to greet each one of you a blessed day. We know that this particular activity is very important for all of us because this is an assembly where we recite our mission vision, we sing the national anthem, and we profess our allegiance to our country. I hope that through this virtual activity, we are also able to appreciate our being Filipinos, our being Agustinians. Every time we sing the Lupang Hinirang, we do not only mumble, but we also remember the very message of the song. When we recite our vision mission, we are also standing as Agustinians, very mindful of our principles. I would like to greet the sponsors of this particular activity, the Junior High School Department. Thank you so much for preparing for this virtual 
flag ceremonies. As we continue with our journey, in our journey here at Correo San Agustin Binyan, each one of us is expected to be mindful of the teachings of St. Augustine and to embrace our Catholic faith through our various activities in the campus. We have just celebrated the United Nations Week or the United Nations Month. We also pray for other races. We also pray for the members of the United Nations that this world will be a better place to live in through the constant efforts of the people in the planet. Thank you so much. God bless and Mabuhay Agustinians. Thank you, Father Capilian, for your closing remarks. Let us now bow our heads and reflect with a closing prayer to be led by Milka Jazz V. Lopez. This will be followed by the singing of San Agustin Hymn. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us this life and we are very grateful for it. We thank you for this beautiful day that we can stand before you. We are humbly asking for your forgiveness to our sins and shortcomings. Please help each one of us to try being a better person and look upon your Son, Jesus Christ. Despite of the various challenges we are facing today, continue to bless and protect each one of the students, faculty members, and employees of Colegio San Agustin Binyan. As we start this week, we also pray for your spiritual guidance in making decisions in our life. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alma Mater, dear Son, Agustin, Beacon light shining on this fair land God bestowed graces pouring like rain Virtue and science to us you hand Symbol of truth and of liberty Red and gold our colors flying high into Augustine, your loyalty, we shout your glory across the sky, we shout your glory across the sky. Thank you very much, dear Augustinians, for attending today's virtual flag ceremony. This has been your host, Ms. Raquel C. Navotas. Have a great day ahead.